It's a good chair for a recording booth. I thought I made it stop doing that. You didn't. But But I can see how you might have been confused. (laughs) (laughs) I thought I told you no. (laughs) Exactly. I gave the chair a stern talking to, and I Mm -hmm. thought that would be enough. I was like, you go sit in the corner and don't be used for a while. Hopefully that'll (laughs) teach you your lesson. And it didn't. For a whole month, it didn't do it. Hasn't done it actually since Jack was here. Now I think about it, he was on a good streak <laughs> until you came. <laughs> yeah, you broke the chair immediately. Yeah. <laughs> no, uh, probably Oscar, uh, to be fair. Uh, that seems rude. <laughs> <laughs> oh, last episode was com- uh, uh, basically the roast, of, uh, the roast of Oscar between me and Grant. And, uh, you know, there's a lot of Oscar to go around. Yeah, I, I'm imagining like Lord of the Flies and it's like, which, when are we going to eat, you know? <laughs> exactly. It's going to be the big one. <laughs> okay. Exactly. Um, all right. This is Pulse for Lava Paradise Season 2, Episode 6 or 7, depending on the release schedule. Okay, so, so <laughs> I'll take your word for it. <laughs> I just cut out whichever I you, don't do. <laughs> you made eye contact with me like I was going to help you out. And it's like, this is six <laughs> or seven. Reggie, help me. Nothing. I know you've watched this before <laughs> once. <laughs> <laughs> and we have him here. It is Reginald Barris. Hey, Reggie. Thank you for being here. You know, um, it's a thing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> No, seriously, uh, I, I, you were on my list, obviously, of people I really wanted to have here for season two. I, I would be flattered if there were more options in this city. <laughs> it's like you were on my list as one of the comedians who exists. So I'm glad we could get you. you I know? mean, you are my, one of my favorite existing comics. That is true. There's you some know. imaginary comics that would be high on my list, but... Who? <laughs> Well, Co- f- continue with your riff, Paul. Oh, uh, God damn it. Who's imaginary and did stand up? Uh, well done. Uh, <laughs> this is a good bit. No, no. <laughs> Come on, Reggie. <laughs> Show you my helpful side. Not, not if you're going to do that. Not if you're going to be like, oh, I'm going to go into a flight of fancy. And I'm like, go ahead, Paul. I'm encouraging you. I'm guessing Bugs Bunny at one point did stand up. You could have just gone with Joaquin Phoenix in The Joker. It's oh, an, oh, it, it's oh, like yeah, it's an yeah, imaginary okay. person yes. doing imaginary stand up. It's was, a uh, layup. Uh, and no, no, I was thinking like completely imaginary in the sense of n- not even portrayed by a human. Oh, yeah. Okay. So, so like completely abstract com- comics. Wow, that you really I yourself into myself. a bubble. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> there's not. Ah, uh, there's probably one in. Uh, um, uh, one of the house elves in Harry Potter did stand up. I mean, not in the books, but like ask J.K. Rowling. She'll probably add it in. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, what what would a magician stand up comedian look like? I'm guessing all magic would be banned, right? What? Or, do you what? use magic as part of your routine? I mean... Is that uh, hack in the in the magic world? I don't know. Because I mean, being a magician comic right now is hack. Sure, so. but they're not magicians, they're wizards. <laughs> Fair enough. Actual magic. Honestly, I feel like I feel like if you're being a stand-up comedy and wizarding world, it's just like kind of going to a bar where you order a shot and they just give you the alcohol and it's like, you're going there to get drunk. And if you're going to a, a comedy show to laugh, they just kind of cast a spell on you. And you're, <laughs> And you giggle for the next half hour. And then you're just like, uh, another round, please. (laughs) And then one of their sleigh bells comes out with a wand on a pillow. And you're just, thank you. (laughs) And then it carries it away. It's much more pragmatic. Uh A little less artful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, God. But But a lot less offensive and fewer fewer, uh, op-eds being written about it. (laughs) Right. (laughs) Giggle master got me too. I do love the idea that like (laughs) radical radical bloggers are still finding something to get upset about. (laughs) (laughs) I was laughing because of this giggle fit and I thought of the wrong thing that was inappropriate and misogynistic when when you made me giggle. But I thought about the thing, fuck you. (laughs) He's using a wand which is clearly sexist. You know, no, this is clearly a penis symbolism. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I didn't consent to that laughter. Okay. I just showed up. I thought it was a, a polka night and I was uh, violently disappointed. 
<laughs> the spell lasted for way too long. <laughs> it's like an acid trip. Like the first hour was good, but then it took a turn and it doesn't stop for another 12. That's when you hire a way too good of a wizard, you know, to do your gig. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they, they, some of them died. They yeah. couldn't, they couldn't. Oh man, usually I had to pay extra for that shit. <laughs> Back alley laughter. Just the dankest wizard you know. <laughs> I sell you some forbidden sp- spells, you know. <laughs> For good price, man. Have they been cut? No, no, th- those are pure spells. What would you cut them with, Paul? In unnecessary words. <laughs> <laughs> Abraca, Cuba, Libra, Dabra. <laughs> like, what are you doing? <laughs> you get, you get, you die, but you also yeah. get a drink. <laughs> It's like when people use like words they don't really know the meaning of to sound smarter. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> and it's like, this is actually a much harder spell than it seems like it is. <laughs> Esoteric wizards. Yeah, you're just reading. They have like 15 extra words in it, but it, does, it just bakes the cake You're just or reciting War and Peace, and at the end it's Wingardium Leviosa. And they're like, whoa, that's what it takes? Yeah, it's really hard to make things levitate. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Oh, yeah, 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 definitely. Hipster wizards. Oh, yeah, definitely. I only use spells that were made before 1800, you know. <laughs> I, I just feel like there's going to be racist implications to those spells. Oh, for sure this. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Somehow they, <laughs> like the spells. Uh, it, A third of it is plantation based. They all sound like good <laughs> spells, but somehow they only help out white men. <laughs> 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 your patronum only appears if you're a white yeah, person. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like it'll levitate you. Those death eaters. <laughs> it'll levitate a black person, but if they're like running from something, it will drop them. <laughs> yeah. Uh, good stuff. Yeah. Um, Harry Potter is dead. Thank you very much to our TED Talk. I have because, a camera too, Paul. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, no. This, this is the whole point. You yeah. think you dominate this thing? Uh, this is my show now. All right, what are we going to do? <laughs> Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Roll credits. Yeah. yeah. I would not be surprised if that is literally what your theme song is. <laughs> nah, 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 nah. Just you kind of half mumbling. <laughs> nah, and like a picture that your brother drew and you're like, see, it's good, right? <laughs> hey, sometimes. This is art. <laughs> it technically is. Technically. <laughs> My favorite kind of art. It's um, not to insult your brother's drawings. I know where the insult was placed. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's not to insult your brother's drawings. That was firmly on yeah. you. <laughs> you, you, you this tasteless, is heavily weighted. You tasteless garbage person. <laughs> Hey, wouldn't it be cool if I had a sepia filter and everything looked like cheese? <laughs> okay, you guys have no vision. I'll show you. You're right. It does need big eyes also. <laughs> oh, wait. Uh, uh, th- I just remember the thumbnail or what am I yeah, talking about? Literally anything you've ever created. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Last time I was on your podcast, a few years ago. Uh, yeah, it's been a while. Yeah, I don't think I've been here for two years. Yeah, yeah. The uh, corona. Yeah, but wait. even before that, like I kind of avoided it a lot. <laughs> I think like the last time I would have, I think the last time I was invited was uh, your your wedding. That was the party was here, and the drinks were in the bathtub. Hey, next to the, where you were having sex with your wife, so nobody could use the bathroom or get drinks. I don't remember that, but everyone who was here does. <laughs> <laughs> cool, 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 cool. <laughs> but uh, yeah, but I was out of town that day, so I, it would have been a while. But yeah. yeah, I remember last time I was on this podcast, uh, you, without running any of it by me first, just took a bunch of clips of me and put them out of context, and then took one where I was just like, oh yeah, and then or, and said a thing or whatever. But it just oh, that like I fraction did. of a second of me doing like this, and then looped it for 45 seconds, <laughs> and it had me being like, <laughs> Oh yeah, and then that was the whole video. <laughs> as you played a like the what one two cats? No, it's eight out of ten cats. Yeah, eight out of ten cats. Music is playing in the background, and it's the just like thirty second stinger. Yeah, yeah, but it's like had no relevance to anything. It's not what we were talking I about. Was... I'm not British. We weren't doing a panel show. It's just <laughs> Reggie looking like he can't think for thirty <laughs> seconds straight. <laughs> oh yeah, and then you're like, that's the clip. Why is it my podcast growing? I don't know. I don't know, man. I don't know. I, 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 I really, truly don't know. I thought random equals yeah. success. I've seen cringe compilations. People yeah, love exactly. this shit. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Especially of people who are very famous. Yeah. I just like, it's like, it's like you were going, you were intentionally going for unintentional cringe. Like, yes, like, that, but like in this way that like, 
didn't feel self-reflective. That was the problem. Like, it was I like think, you, were, yes. you were like intentional, like earnestly modeling yourself after cringe, but like yeah. not with like a I'm going for intentional cringe. It was which then it could like because I remember Luke said this to me once. He, not once. He said this many times. He said <laughs> he said if Paul was an intentional character, he'd be amazing. <laughs> 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 can't argue with that. Yeah, can't yeah. argue with that. But it was like if, if I was a Neil Hamburger character, I don't know what that is. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> if I was a um, fuck, what's the guy from the eighties that did the constructive comedy, Man on the Moon? Oh, um, Jim Carrey. <laughs> uh, what the fuck was his name? I, I should know in blank. Uh, yeah, me too. Um, but that guy. Yeah, I, I'll put it down here. You know, yeah. it's, it's, it's going to be here. Post-production. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So that guy, basically, if he came up with a character yeah. that was me, yeah. uh, genius. Or, or even, like, you know, just anyone with talent came up with <laughs> him you know uh, just uh, i think i'm just calling this po- <laughs> this episode bullying paul sure. <laughs> the, the revisitation <laughs> you're like it's just called oh yeah dot 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 that's right <laughs> <laughs> hmm i made a t- deep and terrible mistake again it's just called now i remember yeah, yeah you know the the, the definition of insanity yeah. is trying the same thing over and over again no but basically it was just mm. this thing where it was like if if you were leaning, if it was a person who was like, because even Luke did it to a degree with who he was on stage. Yeah. Like Luke did a lot of leaning into like old dad yes. joke type of persona. And it is this thing where like once it's a persona that's intentional, then you're like kind of crafting, like leaning into that. And it's kind of, a, it's all happening ironically. And there's right. just a wink and a nod. Yeah. Of like, look at me. I'm Paul Jacobs, the guy with no sense of taste. Wink. <laughs> but like, <laughs> it wasn't that. It was Paul Jacobs being like, hey, look at this awesome poster I made. All four of us are wearing the same golden t- hoodie <laughs> that, that you could say is a bit, but I bought it earnestly. <laughs> was so cheap i couldn't say no you could have <laughs> you didn't yeah exactly but uh, you could have yeah I, 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 I try to debate that much sometimes and then you were like well let me make it a business expense <laughs> by using it as the, the the front person of a show that'll make me no money <laughs> <laughs> yeah next to no money I, I mean you guys didn't do it very long yeah 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 but yeah each time i i did nothing too, too no, you can stop the sentence there. Oh, yeah, yeah, you yeah. did nothing. Yeah, fair enough. <laughs> you set up a camera, got your one LED lamp right at, at oh, fucking crotch level pointed up oh, at us. Jesus you had a Christ. second light that you're like, oh, I don't have a softbox for this and the lighting's too harsh. I know what I'll do. I'll put a Lidl bag over it. <laughs> yeah, that one was yeah. a fantastic softbox solution. And then you had, so that nobody, I, I assume, so that nobody would break, you know, get in the way of the camera, don't want to obstruct the view. You had all of the audience lining up on one wall going so really far back. And when I say all the audience, I mean all six of them, <laughs> except for your wife and one of her friends who's on the other side. And then it was just empty in front of us. And I, and I was like, Paul, what the fuck are you doing? And you're like, well, actually, it's going to look really good. I'm like, nah, probably not, man. Because and I, you were right. <laughs> and you were like, no, man, it looks not good right now like in person but yeah. like on camera Mwah. and i was like but there are t- six people it doesn't matter how good it looks it's not gonna sound good and you're like pay pay no attention to the details behind the curtain <laughs> to be fair to be fair at least that lighting setup didn't introduce any seizures with did you have no cram oh. <laughs> that was a dig at your lighting yeah but that wasn't my fault mm. no it wasn't the uh, the board disconnected from yeah the, it's a, yeah I, it took me a while to figure out what the problem was so, so you figured out the problem yeah so it is your fault for figuring it out too late no because there was cram doesn't know, <laughs> they don't know how to use their lights they yeah, so sh- you no, should. I do. I do now. No, no but I had to figure it out, dude. They, they <laughs> bought, no, they bought a new system of lights. They bought a new system of uh, lights. Oh, they, they bought a new system. They, okay. like, they used to have this board that, like, they didn't know how to use that either, and it was like a bunch right, of faders like and stuff. Thing, probably. Uh, I don't know. It was like, like a, a physical ex- board. Yeah, with, but it has XLR inputs for the lighting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that's a DMX. Board. So then, they, but they eventually they switched it. And now they have a tablet, and they do not know how the tablet works. <laughs> so like, I had to figure it out. Like last night, whenever I was putting, I was uh, taking apart stuff for the show. Mm-hmm. They came up to me and they're like. How do you turn these off? <laughs> oh my god! And I, and, they, and I was like, I was like explaining him how because like, do you have this saved? And I was like, yeah. uh, no, but I just whatever. And he's like, okay. So he went in and was like turning down every like I'll turn down the red fader all the way, the blue fader all the way, the green. And I was yeah. like, wait, are you trying to? 
I'm like, you can just hit that light switch over there. And he's like, oh, okay. Like, oh, that's how little they don't know what's okay. going on with their lights. Fair so, enough. So what happens is, like, it's connected by Wi-Fi to a box that's also with XLR, mm -hmm. but that's up in the ceiling. And if it disconnects, instead of just defaulting to, I guess I'll just stay like I'm at, it defaults to... So party mode. Yeah, it defaults to strobe <laughs> lights of every color. So, like, in the middle of the show, it disconnected, and I didn't know why. And they That did, sounds like they a demo mode. Me. Oh, because uh, normally on those lights up there, there's, like, dip switches... Like small little tiny switches that you have to like finagle with a key or with like tweezers. Uh -huh. And I'm guessing they're on demo mode. Maybe. I have no fucking clue. Again, they're not my yeah, lights. Yeah. And the thing is, if I touch too much of the actual physical lights, there's a guy who does, uh, I don't know if they're his things or whatever, but it's like he's the technical guy that they have to talk to. Okay. Who I, I've had to like have phone calls and like meet with specifically so that I could fix this in the future. Because uh -huh. again, not my fault, but I'm willing to deal with it. Uh, <laughs> because and, it's basically your, your mainstay event. Yeah, basically. Location and uh, yeah. For I'm, comedy I'm not, show. I'm not above doing it. You know, it's like I'm, I'm fine for with being on a good show. For comedy show, th that's one of the big threes. It's pretty big. It's audio, lights, and then maybe a stage. And even you can debate about that one. Yeah, you don't even need a stage <laughs> as long as you have a little bag to illuminate the room. <laughs> no, no, but like the thing is, if you touch the physical lights, if you if you don't set it back exactly how it was, mm -hmm. then you get that guy uh, sending you long text messages about what the fuck why isn't everything back how it was. Because uh, I've gotten those text messages when I I didn't change anything, and it's just oh, like these cool. long bitch messages, and I'm like, hey, I understand why you're frustrated. Wasn't, wasn't me. me. <laughs> <laughs> This time I can with 100% confidence say wasn't me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So yeah, I mean, like, I, it, it's a thing that like I, I, you can say that it's my fault that I didn't know how to fix it the first time. But like, they're also like, why would I think that would happen when nobody's told me how this thing works? Mm. And then I've, I, I, it, I fixed it to the point where like I've I had to be on. I, like Victoria had a show there, and okay. I, I, and the, the, they gave her the tablet where it had like. 10% of battery left. So halfway through her show, it died, which makes it disconnect, which makes the lights go haywire. <laughs> and, I had to, and I had to jump in and fix everything. So like, you know what? I'm actually... You're doing all right now yeah. as a technician. Yeah. 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 I didn't yeah, it's, get paid it's, for anything, so I'm doing it. It's good to have a second yeah. leg to stand on. Yeah. That is, that is always nice to have a yeah. second skill if, it's, if something happens, if the world hits a catastrophic, catastrophic event where you can't get paid, you can't make money as a comedian, it's good to know that you also have the skills to not get paid as a technician. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> you get double no pay. That's double the amount you made yeah. before. Yeah. Two times zero is still a progress. <laughs> <laughs> So that's still equal zero? No, no, you're missing because I multiplied it by two. But yeah, no, that event sucked, sucked, sucked bad. Yeah, I, I totally agree. Were you at you. that event? No, 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 no. My oh. event. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The one you roasted Were for you five that minutes. One? <laughs> Were you at that <laughs> one, man? Because honestly, it felt like there was no one in control of that Yeah, thing. that is true as well. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> control is definitely an issue I have. <laughs> Lack of. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> You have the intention of like, I got this, I got this. But then like, once we're like, okay, I guess he's got it. You're like, oh, showed them. And then it's just like, <laughs> and it's like <laughs> just, uh, this will look nice. Yeah. And it's one nice. So there's some improvements. Yeah. Like, like that's basically what you said whenever, uh, you made my computer and I'm like, oh, I just want what's like affordable. And here's what my budget is. Like, but this will look nice. And I'm like, I don't care. I have a, <laughs> I have a budget. And you're like, I got you. I hear you. So I went 400 euros over your budget, but it's fine because you're paying for it. So um, <laughs> hey, that over budget was no, mostly not my fault. I disagree. That was fluctuating markets. I can't control those. I couldn't expect to know that the thing that was <laughs> the, the, the fluctuating market, it was impossible for no that this thing that's, you know, 200 bucks more than he said he wanted to spend on a graphics card uh, still was like that once I gave it to him. Because fluctuating markets, it could have dipped back down for all we knew. <laughs> <laughs> but no, no, I don't know. It was all that much about fluctuating markets. I think a big part of it was that you, I think the biggest part where we went over on the budget was that you were selling me your extra hard drives that you deleted all your pornography from um and yeah. gonna, gonna bleep that like a motherfucker <laughs> no i remember because we were talking about that you were like well this is a nice a nice room you have it's big and you have good internet you could like i don't know like get a server and like host it out to people and i'm like yeah i don't really want to do that like the idea that people like i don't know what people i don't want to have a server that other people's stuff is on and be responsible <laughs> for it like if somebody puts pornography on it i don't really want that in my house and you're like i mean they're paying you for it and you had like this demeanor of like like not even ironically it was again it was just like i don't understand what the problem is if they're giving you money why don't you just do it plausible deniability put a password on it you're not looking at it in your memory i sound like 
what if Nick Cage, instead of being Lord of War, was Lord of Computer Hardware, basically? I haven't seen Lord of War, uh, oh, but okay. yeah, sure. <laughs> if, you, if you feel like you want to be Nick Cage... I wish I was Nick Cage. God, that would be great. I know, the hairline? <laughs> yeah, he still <laughs> has one. <laughs> you know, I, I, his, his d- did a like a strategic retreat. Mine yeah. is scattered. Yeah, it mine has, me. My line has been smashed by the enemy and driven before them. That's, yeah. that's my hairline. No, it reminds me, like, because last night, um, you know Christian, the Romanian? The one I used yeah, to live yeah. with, yeah, he was he did an open mic spot at my uh, show last night, and he uh, had a joke that was, said it was like, "I wish that I was as fat as I was the first time I thought I was fat," <laughs> and it feels very much like that with Nick Cage's hairline. <laughs> 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 Oh man, I wish I was I had the hair from Air, uh, Con, Con Air. Con Air, yeah. <laughs> I still could grow out a full set. Oh, if only I could be a, a, like a, a National Treasure era Nick Cage hairline. <laughs> oh, if only I could be like John Travolta again. <laughs> 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 Funny enough, yeah, that that Nick Cage's career <laughs> is now way better than John Travolta's. I mean, it, it, why is that funny? Because Nick Cage was like, because Nick Travolta had like a renaissance with uh, Wild Hogs. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like that's what that was intended to be. <laughs> <laughs> I actually unironically watched that movie. <laughs> oh god damn it, dude. Why? No, no, because because the trailer wasn't half bad. Then I watched it and I'm like, this is the biggest piece of shit yeah, I've ever nor seen. Was, nor was it half good. It was so clearly aimed for boomers. Like, oh yeah. No, it is. And, and, I, and I don't say that in like the hip young way of saying like, oh, everybody's a boomer, but like it no, was no, no, it no. was baby yeah, boomers. Yeah. It was yeah, yeah. everybody they would have loved. Exactly. But the worst yeah all having and, a midlife crisis at the same time and wasn't like fuck the guy who 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 makes uh robot chicken seth, uh, green? seth green yeah i think seth green was in it who knows i didn't watch it <laughs> i was you in have high standards. school i was in high school there was no reason to watch it i was in high school i saw the trailer and my mom was like that looks good and i'm like you can have fun with that alone <laughs> you didn't go with your mom to watch wild dogs no <laughs> I don't need to hear. <laughs> yes. I don't need to hear my mom getting wet as she looks back to all the people she loved as a child. <laughs> you glad I said it, Paul? <laughs> Travolting. Reggie, Reggie had a moment where he was like, maybe I'll be tasteful. And Paul's like, no, 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 no. It's not why I brought you on here. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> dance, monkey, dance. <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh God, no! But Travolta in the nineties with uh, like Pulp Fiction, that that was his renaissance. Like, but what did he do again after that? I feel like that was like that was a movie that people liked that he was in, but I don't think it like brought this new trajectory of like now he's the it guy. Oh yeah, again. no, he was uh, became an action hero for a short while again. Oh, the fucking three ten to Yuma. That was one. Fuck that. <laughs> that wasn't a legitimate. That was a comeback. That was him. De- that was like I don't know. If that didn't feel to me like. Uh, he seems like he's probably, I don't know, I'm not going to say he seems like a nice guy. He might be a... No, he's not. He's definitely not because he's with with Scientology deeply. Again, he starred in that friggin' movie, that Scientology movie, where huh. he plays an alien. No shade, okay? No shade, <laughs> no shade. to John Travolta, nor Scientology. You and still want to get a Scientology cruise? I'm just going to say... Take it as a, as, a, as a comedian? I'm going to give him the highest praise that I know how to give, and <laughs> John Travolta, most likely... Not a pedophile. <laughs> yeah, for Hollywood, that is. The, <laughs> you know, and, and, and you can't say that about everybody, Paul. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, but my point is, I, I, I don't know the guy. I don't, I don't have any ill will. I don't against, know the guy. No, I don't have any ill will against the guy. Right. But like, to me, the, that, the, like the 310 to Yuma, those kind of movies, I don't know about Pulp Fiction because I, I was young when that happened. So I wasn't like yeah. paying attention to what his trajectory was. At oh, that point, I thought, I thought Grease Lightning was like, you know. Uh, right around the corner might as well have been. I mean it's like when you watch Disney movies as a kid and you just assume they were all made when you were a kid that is true that yeah. is true yeah. um, so like I didn't that, you call them timeless classics I, I wouldn't have but like you sure um, <laughs> but you should. no but like I mean like it's weird because like Lion King came out in the mm. early 90s and I would have thought Jungle Book did too except that it was oh yeah I think my mom watched it as a kid Jungle Book is crazy old yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. I um, mean Bambi I think Bambi came out Right after World War Two yeah, or something Bambi like that. Yeah, Bambi feels old, you know. 
Does it? I don't know. I I don't even know if I've seen it all the way through. It, it seems like a girl movie. Nah, I had it on cassette. Whether it so. was or not, I don't know why. <laughs> she watches her mom get murdered in front of her, and I'm like, this is a girl movie. <laughs> like, <laughs> this is exactly like the origin story of Batman, but for girls. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's girls Batman. Like, <laughs> it's Bambi. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> No, but like, so I don't know what his trajectory was, but like mm-hmm. when I watched like 310 to Yuma and stuff, I didn't watch it, but I saw those things coming out. Yeah. It didn't feel like a true like renaissance of like he's back. Like it, it wasn't like Jason Bateman after, after Arrested Development, you know, where it's like, oh, oh this guy's back now. Yeah, it, yeah. It felt like the guy trying to get back and then it's like kind of being like, oh, I can get, I can, I can, I, I can guess be not. face off. I guess not, you know. I mean, face I off. I guess face off, yeah. Face off was pretty big. Yeah, but like. Yeah, I guess I don't know. I just, and then uh, wait, it was bad, uh, but it was he pretty was, big. He was he was the Italian mobster in um, the Punisher movie, the only good Punisher movie. Not not the TV show. The Netflix show is good too, but yeah, I didn't like the, the Punisher movie. Which one? I don't. The one in like two thousand four. Oh yeah, that's the one I think you're thinking of. That's the correct one because there's three. There's one, oh, I didn't know there's that. one with Dolph Lundgren from the 80s. That, I'm sure that's trash. Oh, 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 it is next level trash. Was it made in the 80s or it was I think so. or it was in the credits it's Dolph Lundgren from the 80s like <laughs> <laughs> We did a bunch of reconstructive like, surgery parentheses to his... at the end, yeah. Like, like Dolph Lundgren and it's just like from As the he 80s. was in the 80s. Yeah. Oh no, from the oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, like, yeah, no, cuz like I uh, like, Because we have a second Dolph Lundgren knock, knocking just about. Just cuz nobody's sure, you oh, know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like when Expendables came out and I and and I was like, Dolph Lundgren. I'm like, I don't know who that is. Oh, yeah. yeah. No, I was a big fan of Red Dawn. Not Red Dawn. Red Scorpion. I don't know and what that th- is. Yeah, it's basically like... Red Scorpion is just Dolph Lundgren doing uh, uh, Rambo 3. That's it. That sounds horrible. <laughs> like he's he's killing Russians in Afghanistan. I also think Rambo sounds dumb. Oh, it's incredibly dumb. The first one is actually a really good character study on PTSD. But everything after that is just... Watch me shoot all the bad guys. I mean, we've talked about this before. I don't, I don't like action movies that are big and actiony mm. that like aren't Fast and the Furious. <laughs> <laughs> like, because like, because like Fast and the, and like Fast and the Furious also has several duds. But like, once it figured out what it's supposed to be, yeah, four, it, five. Four, four was the turning point. Four was when it was like, let's try to get this again, but it was still not a good movie. Oh, no, no. It, but, but like it five, was, uh, five was what it was like. But they started to go wacky in four. Oh, because four had the... That the, was when she died and then she didn't actually die? Yeah. Then there's like the smuggle stuff? Yeah, I think so, yeah. I don't know. I don't yeah. remember the plots, but, but but I know like four... I looked up the rankings of this because I've been very infatuated lately. <laughs> um, and it was it was like, it was a good attempt, but like it was not compelling enough with what, what, what it was trying to do. Sure. Is what it, the description I read about it. But like five was when they brought the rock into it. Now it's like... Like, let's oh no no that really is that is that it. is growing the beard for sure yeah, yeah. and like but like but, but, but from that point on it was very clear that they stopped and I actually think it's worth applauding uh, everyone thinks I'm being sarcastic and I fucking love this movie um, <laughs> like <laughs> say it into the camera so people believe you really because good. normally normally people would be pressing X to doubt right now yeah. on you uh-huh. like uh-huh. <laughs> Reggie is really sus right now no, I, 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 well the thing is I think it's so rare that you have a movie that's like isn't great or like a se- series that isn't mm-hmm. great um, or like for the room for example uh, uh, the Tommy Wiseau right um, it was bad Mm-hmm. And people loved it because it was bad. Yes. And it was like, this is a great comedy. But unapologetically bad. But also unintentionally bad. Yes. Like, he was trying to make he a dramatic a, piece. Yeah, yeah, he wanted to make a real movie. And people thought it was hilariously bad. Yeah. And then once it got popular, he was like, yeah, I intended for you guys to appreciate it this no, way. No, 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 no. He pivoted. Yeah, yeah, yeah for he pivoted. sure. He pivoted. And I think it's so rare that when a person, like, realizes, oh, that's what they're memeing on, mm-hmm. and then leans into it, and it's actually good afterwards. Because Tommy Wiseau could not make a sequel to The Room that's actually good. <laughs> Like that's actually good for the for any reasons. You know? Room to even more room. <laughs> yeah, like, the thing is, like he just doesn't have like it, the reason that the room is so like bad in a good way. I don't, I don't really like the room, but like the reason people yeah. could get behind it is because it was clearly made by an unhinged guy who truly thought he was making a masterpiece. Oh yeah, but every single uh, to add to the room, it's also genius because every single aspect is fucked up. Sure. The audio doesn't fully work. You have 80 yard lines that come out of nowhere. Nobody says them. But also, like, it's all those things, but on accident. Yeah, like, yeah. But like that, because the thing is, like, if he intentionally did that, it, it would have lost some of its magic if mm. it was all intentionally done like that. Yeah. Part of it was, it was because, that, like, every. Andy Kaufman. 
Andy Kaufman. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that, sorry. Yeah. No. But, fair but, enough. But I'm I, like, I, I would have done the same thing. Uh, <laughs> if Andy Kaufman tried to do the room, it would, no it, dice. Yeah. It, and potentially it could have, but like once people realize, oh, we're not making fun of the person. Like mm-hmm. the movie, like the room is like people are enjoying making fun of Tommy, not laughing with Tommy. So yes. And, and also because he's a weird dude, and like everything, the lore around the room also makes it a bigger thing too, because everything about it, not just what's in the movie, but behind the scenes and everything, also added to the just this is a catastrophe. <laughs> So, like, yeah, yeah. But like, so the thing is, like, with every single thing going wrong at every step of the way, in every facet of the movie, from a person who's earnestly giving it their all, mm. is what made that so enjoyable for people. And if he was like, "Oh, now I get it. That you thought this was funny," and he tried to like lean in and like replicate that for Because a second he had, one, yeah, he had, no, he had a TV show. Did he? Yeah. Was it uh, the room thing, or he just made a TV show? He just made a TV okay. show, and it's. I'm sure it's terrible. Oh, that one is just painfully. Like, was he try- was he already trying to make it funny at this point? He went for comedy, yeah. Okay, they, big that's, mistake. But that's exactly my point. It's like yeah. leaning into like doing something that's like mockably bad, mm. um, and that like people are like. Which I don't think the first Fast and the Furious was like mockably bad for the time. I think. Oh no, no. it was it, just it, peak. It was two thousand. Like, yeah, yeah, it's very two thousand. It's like yeah, <laughs> fast cars and women and fucking tuning badass and, guys and, 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 yeah. and Nas and yeah and and streaks because everybody plays uh, uh, Need for Speed right yeah. now. It, it was like it was it was just a it was just a movie, you yeah. know. And I liked it as a kid. Just came out. I liked it as a kid because I was eleven yeah. years old. <laughs> if, if that's all the series still was, then I would not like the series you know <laughs> but, it, but it was a thing that like they, they were doing that to the point where everybody was making fun of it mm. and then they realized oh this is what it could be and they they leaned into that of what is the meme of this yeah and made it not just like work still but like increasingly get better each time in a way i think is actually very remarkable for something that, oh absolutely you know, absolutely 10 years into a series before you find your footing and then the next 10 years in are when all the gems happen yeah, yeah. and also make an insane amount I of think money. It's a six billion dollar franchise. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we're talking Star Wars level I don't impact. Know about Star Wars. No, no, it's no, big. no, because Star Wars is way bigger with all the other. But if sure. you just looked at the movies, there's the same amount of movies now. There's nine. Ten. I mean, because there's Tops and Shaws. Yeah, spin-off, but, but then you can also argue nine main movies. Sure. There's nine main movies because there's also. You well, know, I would argue Hobbs and Shaw is still a, the, more. A Star Wars story and, yeah. and the, the Han Solo shit. I do think you it's know? worth saying that I think Hobbs and Shaw. I haven't seen it yet, but it's I feel fantastic. like I, you told me, yeah. and, uh, so I'm going to watch it. But like, I, have a, I feel like that ties more into the main movies than Tokyo Drift does, arguably. Oh, oh, so, oh you know? absolutely. Absolutely. So I said we kick out Tokyo Drift, we bring in Hobbs and Shaw and, <laughs> and leave still, it at nine. And now we have a perfect <laughs> yeah. ninolo- ninology. Yeah, that's probably I don't what know called. what the Latin no- word for nine is. I think is. it's a Trilo Trilogy. Uh, oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> I don't know. Let's just go get it. Let's just add three more and call Triple it Triple Xology. Yeah. I just want it to be called a Dodecology. I want, to, I want them to have that many. Uh, <laughs> however many that is. I think it's 12, but it might be I 20. You might, you might be right, yes. Actually, Dodeca, it's probably 20. A Dodeca? Well, Deca, oh, yeah, yes. Yeah. Dos. Dos Decas. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Dos Decas. <laughs> <laughs> you've, you've been here for how long now? Probably close to eight years altogether. Yeah. What's your, what's your favorite food at this point that is made? Here. Oh, oh, okay. Well, you just, you yeah, just, yeah, I yeah. really, really restrict it, you know. Uh-huh. Yeah. I oh, don't know. It's, it's not a good country for food you son of a bitch uh, hey, it's, it's not, not my fault true. i would love that to be i would love i would love it to be like a fact that all the food here is great and diverse but I, oh that's not true either yeah I, I i i take offense that it's not good because there's some solid solid ones in there like tafelspitz tafelspitz is all right it's it's fucking not worth the money at all that is true it's as well. so stupid it's so <laughs> dumb <laughs> I, I shouldn't spend 40 bucks on gray meat that's been soaking in soup. All right. You've been overcharged, my good sir. Like 25 or something like that. That's still pretty crazy. It, a- anything over... Plakuta, si- however much they okay, charge Okay, yeah. No, then then you... Yeah, that's that's fair for Plakuta. But still, yeah, no. I, well, we I went would, there because my ex was like, hey, this is... We got the fucking stimulus check. The the, 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 not yeah, stimulus the, the check, coupons. The, the coupon. The, the, the stimulus the, coupons. Yeah, to have a night out on <laughs> Austria, us. As Austria is, is like, like, like one of those, you know, instead of... The, the thousand or whatever dollars it was the first one right? I, I don't know what it's supposed to be uh, wait they never sent them to you I just got mine in the mail two days ago 
What? Uh, well, I only signed up for it recently. Oh, because okay. I had just like tax stuff because I was right. handling here first. Um, and I, I was supposed to get eighteen hundred, is what it said. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then so it said that, and then they mailed me my check. Yeah. Uh, and I got that two days ago, and it said fourteen hundred. And I was like, why? Mm-hmm. And I don't have the answer yet. But I was like, fine, I'll cash it because I, I I need the money. So I go to the right. bank, and I'm like, can I cash this? And he looked at it for like thirty seconds. It said no. <laughs> Said we, we we don't cash foreign checks, and then he With said, "Which bank bank was it?" Es- Esteban. No, no, the the check that you got. Oh, it was from the IRS. Oh, so that the IRS issued that check. Yeah. So it's not even a foreign bank. It's just yeah. It's just a foreign, America. It's just America. He just rejected America yeah. into your face. Yeah. How does that feel? Um, <laughs> par for the course. <laughs> Um, <laughs> like an Afghanistan citizen who tries to flee right now. <laughs> I, I, people keep bringing up Afghanistan, and I'm not aware of what's happening, but I'm also fine with that. <laughs> um, <laughs> it's going to get real fucked up, but whatever. Yeah. For, for Afghanistan. Oh, so. <laughs> yeah, and historically, that never had any reverberations. Not in Austria. Uh, yeah, fair enough. Yeah. Yep, I'm fine. <laughs> I'll worry about it when my visa gets revoked. Yeah. <laughs> no, but like, um, yeah, so he's like, I was like, can I do it somewhere else? And he's like, I don't know if any other banks in this country are going to accept uh, foreign checks. And then he said something, and I didn't hear all of what he was saying, uh-huh. um, but it was something about Trump checks. Um, yeah, yeah. And, and and because of that, and like, because they need some kind of like proof of something, but then it's not, it's like, or you could like talk to the issuer and see if they can give some additional proof, but like there was like an extra required mm-hmm. needing to verify something that can't happen. It's never easy to get money from the States. Well, the thing is, and I Googled it, I was like trying to figure out other other options and I Googled like uh, stimulus, ch- I, I Googled Trump checks Austria to see what he was talking about. And I don't know if this is what he was talking about, but last year, dozens of un- ineligible Austrians just received, received them. T- yep. Trump checks. And I'm like, well, that's probably why I can't cash this in Austria. <laughs> because people have been taking advantage Not of even it. taking advantage, just the government. I don't know how you make that mistake where you're just like, huh, we have checks that need to go out to people. Um, Hans, Hans Niedermeyer. Um, you're also, uh, you're you American, go. right? <laughs> here, let's just email that to fucking... Ka- <laughs> Uh, Katzelsdorf. Yeah, yeah. And <laughs> Unter Oberndorf really saw an uptick in, in spending all of a sudden because... <laughs> I feel like it was like people who didn't even apply for them got them. Oh, but for sure it is. In a way where it's just like, how do you, how do you make that mistake? It's called the American uh, uh, public sector. <laughs> Yeah, so uh, I don't because know how I much. Because bet was- I bet you that the IRS did like the, the minimum of work, looked at like a database from like, you know, 20 years ago or something like that. And they're like, those are probably all accurate still. Sent, you know? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so I don't know how much the checks are supposed to be worth. I know that I was given $400 less than I was told I was supposed to be getting. And I'm not sure why yet. <laughs> this is Kafka's check. <laughs> no, it's pretty good. It's pretty good, especially because, like, uh, I, w- w- when I pay, you my- are rich, but you can't spend it. Not even, yeah, rich. Well, how fucking maybe for Kafka? <laughs> yeah, uh, like, exactly. Yeah, hey, Kafka would have killed for fourteen hundred dollars back then. Yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> well, the thing is, like, uh, when I paid my rent at the beginning of this month, I had about. 400 bucks left in my bank account Ooh, yeah and that was like i had to borrow from a savings account that i had like been budgeting for Mm -hmm. that was that was only 500 bucks (laughs) that's how much i've been able to like set aside during the pandemic right i've just been like having a like the 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 government assistance doesn't cover my bills so yeah cool cool and every time i get government assistance the sls also asks me for more money back so sweet like for example last november uh, they said, "Hey, we're going to actually increase the budget, so you get up, you get three thousand euros more mm-hmm. uh, for the rest of this year." And I was like, "Cool!" So I applied for that, and I got the letter in the mail, and it said, "You've been approved for three thousand euros." Mm-hmm. And I was like, "Awesome!" The next day, and that's from the SVS. And the next day, I come open my na- mailbox, and it's a letter from the SVS saying, "You owe us twenty two hundred bucks." <laughs> <laughs> oh, because you slid up into a, basically into a higher class. Or because it was it was like because I well the thing is for I didn't have my uh, I was like behind on just filing my taxes because I knew it was not a I, I knew i didn't make enough to, to owe taxes yeah, and yeah i just hadn't gotten to it mm-hmm, um mm-hmm. for two years oh um, smart I'm, smart i'm not has anything about the way i've lived my life seemed like oh that dude's like on top of his shit <laughs> <laughs> 
Uh, no, yeah, fair yeah. enough. Yeah, the this things is I'm on the, top yeah. of are the things I'm interested in, and then like <laughs> I just like fucking with like uh, obsessive focus, do that thing until I have yeah, panic if, attacks and can't leave my apartment. <laughs> if filing your taxes would be developing a computer game, you would be on top of Dude, it like a motherfucker. I, I had, <laughs> st- I I'm I not proud of this. Um, <laughs> Ooh, this is gonna be sweet. Starting in April, I've I've I printed out a habit tracker for the rest of the year to like do yeah. things regularly. Good. And I had to add brush teeth to it because that was the only way I could ensure I would remember to do it. (laughs) (laughs) Since making the habit tracker, brush teeth and take shower have been mostly daily occurrences. Wow. Brush teeth has happened every day. Shower, not necessarily every day. Sure. Yeah. yeah, That's a coincidental thing. Sure. But but like, um, yeah, it was both of those. I'm like a fucking three year old dude. It's so stupid. (laughs) And your own, your own keeper. You're, you're, yeah. <laughs> you're, well, you're not your brother's keeper. Yeah. You're just your own keeper at well, this point. It, it's, it's like I, I just get really fucking... Yeah, I, yeah, yeah. Whatever my project Obsessed. is is what I'm doing. Yeah. And I, I'm stuck on that. And it's like with like showering or brushing my teeth, it'd be like a thing where... I, like showering was more this where it's like, oh, I'll take it first thing in the morning. And if I don't take it first thing in the morning, then I just get sidetracked with doing other things the whole day. And then as I'm doing things the whole day, I'm like, oh, I don't want to stop what I'm doing to take a shower, even though it's yeah, 10 yeah, minutes. Yeah. It, 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 that, it's the same it's thing. It's the like, interruption where, thing. I totally get where it. Whereas a child, your parents would say, I don't care if you're in the middle of a TV show, go, go. do that. Yeah. And I don't have anybody to do that for me. <laughs> and if they did do it to me, I'd be like, fuck yourself, I'm an adult. You, you, could, you could program a thing that tells you that thing. Well, when I looked at my ex, I'm sure she probably did suggest I take showers every <laughs> once in a while. And, I, and in my mind, it's still like, I'm an adult, you can't tell me what to do, despite the fact that I'm demonstrating that I'm not. So... <laughs> What so, is it? You, you, you're a living oxymoron. Well, yeah. Well, then, and at the end of the day, I'd be like, oh, I should take a shower now. But like, you sweat in your sleep. That's going to undo my shower. I'll just take it first thing in the morning. And then you repeat. You're bargaining with yourself constantly. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I just had to, I just had to put a, well, it's also like if I exercise, it's like easier to take showers every day. Sure. Yeah. yeah because you're, you're covered in sweat and it's like, okay. And also me. you're, yeah. We're very similar in that regard because you're doing a mental equation basically every time if the cost benefit of the shower is correct right now. And it usually is it. Yeah, exactly. (laughs) And only when it like pays off in a significant way, then you convince yourself to do it. I'm very much on the same tune when it comes to stuff like that. Yeah. Just less obsessive in the other other regards. Well, the thing is, my teeth aren't great, but like, it's amazing how not bad they are for how little I've brushed my teeth in my life. Dude, and how often do you go to the dentist for regular Very, very seldom. Yeah. So, mm mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, that... That's like, you know, applauding a smoker who made it to 90. Like, yes, I guess. Yeah. So. <laughs> it's like each clap has a... Uh. <laughs> so he's like, Smo- bitch, I'm never going to die. You know, like that's you, your attitude to your I remember, like Back when I was working at Travel Track, so I was like 25. And I, I remember saying to my boss one time, <laughs> Oh, my, my boss, but my uh, the head barman, uh-huh. and it was kind of a, a, a joke, but like with a, with a lot of truth in it. <laughs> and, I, and I was like, "Hey, man, I don't know if this is a normal thing, but like my gums bleed every time I brush my teeth." <laughs> and he's like, "That's a problem. You should probably get that checked out." I'm like, "I would if it happened more than once a week." And it's <laughs> <laughs> because you only brush right. once a week. Oh, you you disgusting human being! Oh my god, walking next to you just when you talk. Oh my god, it must have murdered you. Nah. Oh, I mean, it's Travel Shack. It covers yeah. it up nicely. <laughs> yeah. I mean, this is like, I remember when I was working at Travel Shack and they were discussing taking smoking out and they had, it was like, have people like a, you offered you a lot of uh, uh, mint shots? No. Also, here's the thing. Here's the thing. The same thing with like showering and, and uh, brushing my teeth is like, it wasn't a problem. And, like, it, it, I would describe it as no, a problem the thing if you like, only do it once a no, week. Uh, sure, sure. <laughs> but I mean, like, as far as the interpersonal problem, like, okay, it was a thing where, like, if I if I was around people and I could see the like, and I could see, oh, this is a, this is interfe- like, mm. like not to bring in Jack for no reason. I, I, I tend oh, to do, oh, oh, but like, oh, oh. And sorry, uh-huh. Jack. I know that <laughs> there's, a ten- there's a there's a running thing with everybody in Jack's life that they bring him up as an example of a bad thing <laughs> when he's not around and didn't do anything to start this. But like, is the thing where like uh, Jack. Uh, you especially in that case though no but like not just me there are a lot of times where it's like where I'm like why did Jack just come up like, uh, <laughs> like, there have been times where I have to jump to Jack's defense on social media and then I'm just like why is Reggie the one voice of reason right now 
Fair enough. But like you were saying, but Jack has historically not always smelled great. I'm, <laughs> that I'm, is, being, I'm being nice. I'm being generous. As a former roommate of his, I will concur. Yes. As a person who's let him sleep in my apartment before. Uh-huh. Uh, yes. Mm-hmm. Uh, and <laughs> if I smelled like that, where it's like you're walking into a room or taking off your shoes and like, sure. it's, 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 it's undeniable, uh-huh. then I would have showered more often. Right. But it's like the same thing. Oh, as you, like, have, you have a, maybe just a low level of odor creation? Or I, to a degree. Do you, do you I mean, sweat a lot? Uh, or not a lot? Not, I mean, like, now I'm exercising a lot, but otherwise, not really. Mm. Um, <laughs> you get to be a sweaty boy. Well, well, like, I don't generally sweat that much. And I also, like, if I'm at home, I don't wear clothes most of the time. So it's also, like, I'm right. there's less reason to sweat there's on top of it. There's less reason to sweat. You know? That's what clothes are for. <laughs> clothes are uh, they're just restrictive, you know? And they're like it's it's like a it's like uh-huh. a, it's like a girlfriend poking holes in a condom. They just trap you. You know? <laughs> like <laughs> so. I mean, yeah, what is a shirt if not a condom of condom for your body with three holes in it? Four. Yeah. Yeah. But that's the right amount of holes in a shirt. <laughs> is it four or is it two? think about mm, it yeah 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 but um <laughs> yeah but i don't know i mean like i don't i even now like i don't wash my hair very often but it's also just what well, I mean, one there's tons of research more it's like don't put shampoo in your hair on oh yeah, 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 yeah. but like i've never washed if my you hair. have hair that you should take care of it yeah, yeah. but the thing is like <laughs> <laughs> i'm nuking this every time we've had in shoulders i don't care anymore <laughs> Ooh, you're getting thinner. It, what is what? Uh, what are you trying to do? Hurt me? I feel like at a certain point you're just like putting more bad things in it. Like I just don't want to have to cut it anymore. Exactly. Yeah. Like, no, again. Yeah. That bargaining. I don't want to have to shave. So just yeah. give me cost benefit. Give clearly me has been three Homer seated. Simpson hairs at the end, <laughs> and you're just gonna be a fucking dousing them with Head and Shoulders. But do they make napalm for skincare? Uh, they do, but it's just napalm. <laughs> Um, you will not have to worry about sweating afterwards. No, yeah, that it's is a good true. antiperspirant napalm. Uh, <laughs> Either you sweat no more forever, <laughs> or you se- don't sweat in certain areas. Yeah, or or you know, I feel like it's going to fuse all your gland pores. I mean, death will keep you from no, perspirating like, no, forever. But like even if it's just your arm, I think. Oh, yeah, everything no, on no. that arm is. Oh yeah, uh, skin tissue doesn't have. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You're gonna be good. Ducks. You're gonna be good. <laughs> you're gonna be good but like so it's like one of the things i don't know i remember when i was like in high school i mm. like i didn't wash my hair very often right. um and i would always be like worried like oh do i smell because i'd be mm. like I, at a certain I point mean, i got used to it teenager in, yeah, that self-consciousness adds to that i'm, I'm assuming sure but like it's also the thing of like i know that showering daily which, which for the record i'm showering daily now okay so that's <laughs> Uh, Reggie is only slightly bathing. Do you want to see my habit tracker? Uh, <laughs> Post it the online. Only, the only thing that keeps me a human. <laughs> um, no, but like when I'm like 16, I know that showering daily is a normal thing. Mm-hmm. So you're aware that like, oh, if people are usually showering and washing their hair on a daily basis and I'm not doing that, there's a chance that I smell. Right. I should be on the lookout for that. Mm-hmm. So like I'd be thinking about that. And I remember like there was, I was at a, a school dance and there was this girl that I liked and she like, uh, like gave me a hug and like sniffed my hair. I took like a, like a deep sniff of my hair for whatever reason. I don't know. And I was just like, weirdo. Oh no. That's I why had, you liked her. Oh, okay. I get it. I was a, I was a dork. Um, <laughs> you just liked anybody who showed you affection. <laughs> I was not a cool kid in high school. <laughs> No. <laughs> Come on, I fellow was, uncool kid. I was cooler than you. <laughs> and that is not true, and you know it. I mean, I, I, we would not have been friends in high school. <laughs> <laughs> Middle school, maybe. High school, probably not. I was taking care of a baby for two years in high school. So you kind of. But also, you, you, you wouldn't have if we. Because, wait, in that scenario, am I on an American high school or are you here? How are we in the same classroom? I assume we were like MSN messenger friends. Oh, I'm joking. (laughs) I don't know. I mean, I don't think it matters either way. If we just take our lives and just say that it was in the same building, don't take it. Don't take in the politics of anything. Just who we were. Because don't blame it on what the school system is. Uh, We probably would not have been friends in high school. I... But the thing is, like, in high school, it's as far as, like, cool or not cool, when mm. you're taking care of a baby, you kind of check out of that whole system. They, yes. Yeah. Yes. That's why t- teenage pregnancy is so dangerous. Or well, no. Teenager I mean, taking no, care no, of no, no, pregnancy. No, 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 no. There's other reasons. Whether or not you're in, there, in or out of the cool cycle of high school isn't the real danger of a teen pregnancy. No, no. <laughs> like, <laughs> that's not what I meant to say. That's not what I meant to say. Like, that's not why it's a problem. <laughs> 
<laughs> you know, since I had Stacy, those bitches have been really neglecting me. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't get a single class superlative. <laughs> Not even most likely to have a baby. <laughs> most likely to have a baby. So I remember that girl, she sniffed my hair mm-hmm. like really deep and I was like, oh no, I haven't washed my hair. And she was like, oh, your hair smells so nice. And I'm like, I have not washed this in like five days. <laughs> So lucky, yeah. So it's like stuff like that. It's like the same thing with like drinking. It's like the number of times. Wait, I, you went to a dance unwashed? What? Or just your what, hair? Why are you attacking me, Paul? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I just didn't. I, I probably didn't take a shower beforehand because like the school dances were like after school, not directly after school, but it was like the same oh, day. Oh, you stayed school. around. You didn't no, go home. No, but like I probably just like didn't change all that much. It wasn't prom. Oh, oh, it was, it was just, just a school dance. Oh, oh, oh yeah. okay, okay, okay. Which, okay. to be fair, when I went to prom, I went swimming in a lake all day, and then I, I was like, oh, time for prom, and then I just like changed <laughs> into my tuxedo in the car and drove over there. I didn't give a shit. Oh, you drove yourself to the to the prom? Yeah, I also didn't have a date. Oh, cool, cool, yeah. cool, 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 yeah. cool, cool. Yeah, I, I, I uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're not dissimilar. <laughs> <laughs> prom is stupid. Hmm? Prom is stupid. I also, again, yeah. prom, prom on the back of I just taken care of a baby for two years. Right. And then it's like, yeah, maybe this dance doesn't even matter. I have an actual life to protect. Yeah. yeah. Fair I mean, enough. I, 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 the relationship had ended by, by junior prom, like right beforehand. Mm-hmm. Um, and then senior prom was the one where I did that. And it's just like, yeah, I don't, I spent a year uh, just doing, smoking weed and like doing whatever. Also, to be fair, uh, my stepdad was going to be executed in like three weeks. So it's kind of just no. like a, yeah. yeah, that 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 that, that casts a shadow on a prom. Yeah, yeah. So it, it was like a thing where like my whole senior year was just kind of like because my stepdad got an execution day in the in the summer before my senior year, uh-huh. got a thirty day stay, and then it just kept going. And then it was kind of like a we don't it it hasn't happened, but it could happen at any point in time, and it happened two days before I graduated. <laughs> yeah, so like it was. A I year. didn't. I didn't know that <laughs> particular. I knew the story. I didn't know that particular wrinkle. Yeah, because. Yeah. Fuck. Yeah. And he got he got the first execution date like two weeks after I broke up with my ex and she was like, I'm taking the baby to Texas. Fuck. Yeah. So it was a rough year. I just did a lot of drugs. <laughs> and then people ask, why do people do drugs? Right. This is, you, you, you're a perfect example. Yeah. Of, there's a good reason. There's a good reason. For a little while, then you stop and then you, you know, eventually you'll learn to brush your teeth on a daily basis. <laughs> Follow me, kids. <laughs> If you want to know the benefits of drugs, <laughs> it's a you, symposium on, on the benefits of drugs by Reginald Barris. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> step one, do some drugs for a while and then block out everything. Step two, uh, just keep working obsessively on projects without regard to you know human interaction or friendships mm-hmm. uh, yep. for the next decade uh, until you have panic attacks and can't leave the apartment because the world will end. Then you seek out therapy. Then after a year of that and your relationship uh, still fails around you you'll realize wait a second maybe i should brush my teeth on a daily basis yeah, yeah, yeah. step she, one you are you step one you are so <laughs> close you're so close if you get your shit together even five percent more mm-hmm. <laughs> go on you're like this is unrealistic but yes i'm just curious where it's going <laughs> <laughs> you could totally write a new what if, what was it the jordan peterson book the seven rules of life or something I think like it was that it's called clean your room or some bullshit yeah, like that. exactly yeah. you could do that but with and it'll be br- brush your step one brush your teeth and it'll be exactly as unhelpful hey asshole <laughs> yeah <laughs> hey you useless piece of shit get up and you do something you want bitches and pussy well then maybe brush your teeth Epsler. <laughs> <laughs> and I will be the new centrist in in town yeah yeah exactly. <laughs> You, you will also be banned from campuses. <laughs> and they'll be like, well, people are just, the, the, you know, he's just so in the middle. <laughs> and, and I don't, the people are so, that's what's so annoying to me about Jordan Peterson. Is that like, everybody thinks he's that he, centrist. Well, he's self-proclaimed centrist. And I think the same thing with Joe Rogan, not to, not to you know, go over the same yeah, Tamar yeah, yeah. Katan thing. But, but it is like, the biggest problem is like. You're, one has helped one other to succeed more, even more. So, yeah. They, they, you can throw them in the same pot. Well, I, I just think with like with Joe Rogan, it's like he does have a lot of like left leaning um, people, social, on. Sure. Well, no social ideals that, yes. he, that he holds. But like he brings on, he's a mouthpiece. For, he's letting his podcast be a mouthpiece for so many right wing people that he doesn't put up a big fight against whenever they start. Oh yeah, even with Alex Jones, which I know they're just friends in general. Like not just because, he's on there for that. Because like, in the nineties, 
he was still a normal dude. Yeah, sure. But like, the thing is, like, they're actual friends, and he's friends with all the people. <laughs> Both of them have were normal dudes in the nineties, sure. actually. <laughs> yeah, well, that, that, they, they're actual friends. It's not like he just brought him on for a political talk. But uh-huh. it's like, you're actually friends, and you're like, uh, you know, he says some stuff. And he's like, oh man, you're crazy, whatever. But then he just like keeps smoking a joint and drinking, <laughs> or and, a cigar, and, or whatever. And, and yeah. And let's Alex Jones keep talking, uh-huh. and it's like I don't know. I, uh, the the thing is, his argument is always like, dude, I'm just a stoner. You know, I'm just a comedian. I'm just getting drunk and high with my friends. And it's like, yeah, well, maybe you should do. You shouldn't. <laughs> like maybe with the power that you have with, now, you should with, be responsible. With how many people are watching your podcast and not just watching it for entertainment? Because the thing is, like, yes, you're a comedian, but this is not a com- comedy podcast. Like, no, you know, it's got some funny things in it at times, yeah. but like, it's not. You're not the main goal of this podcast. Wait, isn't are you comedy. describing Paul's Palava Paradise right now? I said it had funny things at times. So hey. like, yeah. um, no, yes. but like, but this thing was like it, it, every the, time you speak. Uh. Uh, fair enough. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it is like it, 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 the main goal of the Joe Rogan Experience is not a comedy podcast. Not anymore. No. Right. So it's like so maybe when when you have millions of people who are listening to your not comedy podcast and are making life decisions and taking political views and from it. Yeah. Maybe you should have a little bit of responsibility to be like maybe I won't just smoke pot and speak recklessly he doesn't have to he can do whatever he wants it's his platform but yeah. like as far as responsibility goes it would be nice you know especially because it's like he has so many right wing people on that are saying these things and then he's kind of like it's uh, it feels like a lot of times when he's doing it, it's like they kind of say something and he's like a little bit of pushback and they keep talking he's like yeah but those liberals though and then he takes like a stance where it's like and he's just like, I'm just right in the center. And it's like, I think you're more right than you think you are on a <laughs> lot of issues. And, and Jordan Peterson even more so, where he's like, mm. I'm just in the center. And it's like, you're not. You're no, not. And if you're you said you weren't, not, yeah. if you said you weren't, it'd be fine. But it's the fact that you're telling it, you're saying you are, and then it's framing everything as like, well, I'm just, he's just in the middle looking at both sides. And it's like, no, no, he's he's telling you that polyamory is what makes every society that has polyamory is more violent. Because violently sexy, maybe. Uh, have you heard of his argument on this? No, because oh. it sounds insane. It's stupid. It gets worse. Because his point is, well, if you do that, then you have this situation where the 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 the, the alpha male type, I don't know if you use that word, but like the superior male, however you word yeah, it. Yeah, the, the, the thing that doesn't exist. The... Because the whole alpha beta sure, thing. Sure, but you can all. It doesn't need to be technically alpha beta. You can still say leadership. They're but still that's, attra- that's pri- just primarily dog whistling attractive. or wolf whistling. I mean, come on. I hear you're saying, but like, I think even if you want to take out the alpha beta, whatever, and look and not look at it as a scientific thing, mm-hmm. you can still use that as a shorthand for like sure, sure, the dominant the, person, the dominant versus yeah, whatever. Yeah. So like, the dominant male is gonna be in a situation where all the females want to reproduce with him, and then no, all the other males don't get any reproductive partners because of. Poly- polyamory yep. and that leads to a lot of bitterness and resentment which yep. leads to violence the, now there are a few problems with this i well, mean he's one, he's so right <laughs> one of them being one of them being um it's inherently misogynistic from the idea of if there's going to be polyamory that one man is going to get all these women who are not going to have sex with other people also right 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 no mm-hmm. And then it's like, well, also what you're saying is I want a redistribution of all of the women so that like one guy can't have all of them. Wait, 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 wait. They have to be, wait, wait. They, they have to settle is for me. Jo- is, Jordan, <laughs> is Jordan doing means of production Marxist fra- thought through the back door? It kind of feels like it. When, <laughs> when, it, when it comes to, when it comes to Pontang, yeah. yes. <laughs> he's a Marxist, he's a hotline yeah. Marxist. <laughs> Seize the means of reproduction. Yeah. Like, <laughs> nailed it. Well done. Well done. <laughs> God damn it! That's that's perfect to end on. Honestly, all right. <laughs> the highest note is a is a five minute rant on Jordan Peterson. Man, I loved it. <laughs> no, seriously, Reggie, thank you so much for being here. Yeah. Um, where can people find you? Look at the camera. Tell them where people might stalk you. Uh, you can find me on the internet. Oh, uh, damn so it. Is, uh, no, it's, it's the Reginald Barris on all, all the major platforms except for Twitter because fuck Twitter. Uh, but it's uh, thereginaldbarris.com mm-hmm. or you can do facebook.com slash thereginaldbarris, instagram.com slash thereginaldbarris, tiktok.com slash oh, yeah, right. at thereginaldbarris or youtube.com slash thereginaldbarris or patreon.com slash the Reginald Barris. Uh, it's nice to have a unique name. Nobody else takes it. Well. Or is there another Reginald Barris out there? Uh, there is. Really? Yeah. I mean, Spelled the same way? Without, without the umlaut, but like. See, already already different. <laughs> well, it's annoying because it's a stage name. So like. Fair I had, enough. <laughs> fair enough. So it's a thing where it's like, I, na- I, I, I was like, oh, this is a good stage name. And then I, and then I looked, then I Googled it. Yeah. And it was like <laughs> some dude in New Jersey with cocaine charges. And I was like, oh. oh that's awesome though. Is it? <laughs> I think it is. 
<laughs> you're like, oh, this is my alternative universe version of me. But it's one of those things where it's like, it feels like if you chose your name, like it'd be like if Brad Pitt chose Gang the name Brad Pitt. Gangbanger Reggie would be kind of funny. I mean. You think- <laughs> Biggest, biggest joke biggest joke this night <laughs> no it wasn't but <laughs> still felt it good who's had guns pointed at them <laughs> yes because the mark of a gangbang is that he gets to get the guns pointed at him you think Not gang- point point the gun at somebody you're right gang members never have guns pointed at them but they also point back ideally ideally how, how often had you had the chance to Gang point members back? get shot daily. What are you talking about? <laughs> Most of the time that you hear about gang members, it's because they got shot. <laughs> what are you talking about? 50 Cent famously dodged all those bullets. <laughs> yeah, the gun wasn't pointed at him. <laughs> Snoop Dogg never shot a gun. Yeah. <laughs> 50, 50 Cent pulled the gun out, pointed it at them, and <laughs> got shot nine times. <laughs> His, re- his Twitch reaction is so good. Had to relearn how to talk because of how well he pulled that trigger <laughs> and aimed the gun. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for your 50 cents on this one. Um, Boo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can find all those links that Reggie listed down in the description below to mm-hmm. follow him. His TikTok content actually is pretty good, so check that one out. All right, that was weird. It's <laughs> a weird way of saying it. The no, TikTok because most, actually- most comedians who, who pivot to TikTok, that TikTok stuff is not that great. Yeah, but mine's all stand-up, so that's, I think when you see that it's not great, it's usually trying to do sketches or it's usually trying yeah. to jump on TikTok trends Exactly. And doing the exact same exactly. thing. Exactly. You're not doing that. But it could be great for TikTok if that if they're doing well with it, then it's like, you know, it's just not for the same audience. Yeah, I haven't seen them do well, so. <laughs> I think the problem with it is, it's, is that you're not the person to me- measure it. Because I think the metric you would use is like, oh, this looks cringe and uncomfortable. No, which likes. Which is how you'd also feel likes, with. Likes oh. and reposts and whatever. Okay, so that's all you're talking about. It's just that people have responded to it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. People did respond to my TikTok. Yeah, there was yeah. a time. Oh, but, <laughs> it's over? I mean, it's been like hovering at 98.1 thousand for the past year ash as opposed okay. to like actually continuing to grow right you right. know it's also like just like just so short maybe, of maybe the China, chinese just found out that you're partially no, black it was right they're like <laughs> oh we have to put the kibosh on that one no it was right when <laughs> trump threatened to ban tiktok was when everything plowed because half my audience was in america oh shit oh yeah. i didn't know that okay yeah. i thought it was mostly european no because that's mainly your audience for the other platforms, right? I mean, it's for whoever finds it, but like TikTok. Sure, no, show, yeah, you're not, you're not like not from Europe. Gonna kick you, motherfucker. No, like, the thing man. is, like, I mean, like the thing is, I'm in Europe to do shows in Europe to get, yeah, exactly. You know, whatever. That's what I mean. But that TikTok is a platform that like actually can show your stuff to other places. So like, there was a big uh, South African contingent too because I had a video, video, a, a superhero video, oh, got shit, popular, right. yeah, popular there, and then okay. like a big uh, in the states. Uh, and then it was like whenever he threatened to, to ban uh, TikTok, I, I started seeing like a cash out kind of thing of people flying to the other. Like my my Instagram gained like oh. 400 followers in a day. Wow! Because it was like okay, just in case. And I feel Crazy. like yeah, I feel like it never completely like got recovered from that also i think a lot of people who were like closer to our age were like oh let's get on tiktok because we're locked inside and like let's see what this app is about but like they weren't once they had to go back to work it was like and i can drop this app too right so i have a feeling a lot of those people who did follow me just aren't using the app anymore but it is enough people clearly but it's that, still worth it well i mean i'm not worth it but like it's enough to where like whenever i use tinder or bumble uh that's what half of my notifications are is people ma- matching with me and to let me know that they saw my tiktoks <laughs> Mm-hmm. As what? Huh? Uh, like a, a, a starter to, to hitting on you? Or just, I hey, guy, I, j- I, I saw you on TikTok, bye. Who knows, you know? <laughs> it's, it's, it's not a good way to start a conversation, to be perfectly honest. Exactly, that's what I'm saying. Is there, was there a point to any of them? Or was it- I don't know. Fucking people are, st- people are bad at introdu- introducing, like starting conversations, which I think is like <laughs> why it's always annoying whenever you get on. Welcome to Paul's Palava Paradise. Sure. <laughs> But it's why it's always annoying whenever, and it's not every woman, but like there are a lot of women who are like, that wasn't a good enough opening line on mm-hmm. a on a thing where it's like, I don't know, you gave me four pictures of yourself and no bio. Well, what did you want me to say? Yeah. And also like, you try opening the line, like the opening conversations because they're not always easy to do. Right. And, but I've had right. people in my life where they're like, 
I like your hair. And I'm like, thanks. And then they like stare at me like, yeah, now you keep the conversation going. And I'm like, you didn't, that wasn't a conversation starter. Yeah, yeah. You didn't, you didn't bounce the ball back to me. Yeah. You just chucked it over my head yeah. and expect me to run into the forest and come well, back with well, the ball. I think people don't understand that a compliment is not a conversation starter unless there's a follow up question or something like that to yep. it. Yep. You know? Yep. So who knows? I, I know what that. kind of products are you using? Yeah, but you can you can see on Bumble that people have no fucking clue how to interact with people. Most I would say like aside from the so hey I know you a bunch TikToks, of bumbling fools. Boo. Yeah. Um, hey. Aside from like the you know hey I saw you from TikTok, which I actually noticed a lot on on Tinder. It's usually like I know you're from TikTok. Mm -hmm. On Bumble, there's a lot more of like I saw your video on Facebook. Uh, Ooh. So I feel like yeah, the, mo the, the moment a woman's like I'm tired of men, I want to control this and I want to make the first step is uh -huh. when they've matured to the point where like they're not on TikTok anymore. Right. You but know? Also, somebody who's still on Facebook. Exactly, exactly. And not for a professional they've reason. They've aged into it, you know? Like, they've uh, aged into that demographic, which is, is fine. But, like, I've had, <laughs> dude, I've had some bad first ones. Just the internet telling you, you're old, man. <laughs> well, well, I get things where it's like, it's just a GIF. A lot of girls want to start a conversation with a GIF. Uh, so I just... That's a... It's dumb. It's bold. Yeah, it's just a gif of like a T Rex waving at you, and you're oh, like, Oh no, 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 no. Yeah, you get several of no, those. No, 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 no. I had one that was three UFO emojis. I guess to say that they're not. I I don't know. I, I made some kind of uh, oppo offhand. opposed to aliens. I made some sort of offhanded remark or something like that, and she was like, "That's my car after getting vaccinated." That is nearly a good joke. Like. Uh -huh. <laughs> That is nearly a good joke. Maybe if you like preface it as want to hear a joke. Yeah, you know? exactly, exactly. But, but not if you preface it as like that's your opening line. Yeah. Um, here, here's one. That and I, they say men are socially awkward. Oh, dude, I think the best one I got. I got one like uh, three days ago, and it says, "Hi, Reggie. Happy weekend. How mm -hmm. are you? I'm looking for people who haven't vaccinated. Could this be you?" <laughs> uh, so I'm, did you say yes? I was curious. Yeah, exactly. So I, said, I would be too. So I said, what are you looking for them for? I'd like to know before I answer. And she said, to find like-minded people. And I was hoping. I was hoping that there'd be like some better reason mm -hmm, mm -hmm, than mm -hmm. just like, because, you know? Like, and it's interesting where it's like, that's the biggest, that, that's the... For, that's, first, turn on. that's the first and foremost question when it comes to dating in 2021 on whether or not you're going to be compatible with each other. Is mm -hmm. not like, what are you looking for? In a yeah. relationship, not right. are you open to having kids at some no, point in time? Looking for a non-vaccinated person. Just, that are they you can not vaccinated? Because if you're not vaccinated, I think we'll have a lot in common. Not just one thing, <laughs> <laughs> dude. I mean, the implication is there. You know, like if you are into non-vaxing, you are also probably into another whole slew of crazy shit yeah. that the other person might also be into. I haven't been And then they like, like you yeah. know, it's one conspiracy too much for her. Like, wait, lizard people? I got no. the whole earth thing, but the lizard yeah. thing? That's the I'm thing. out. That's the thing. It's, it's like, <laughs> it's like uh, 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 have you been vaccinated? No, I haven't uh, because I mean, I've scheduled an appointment it's just taken so long and she's mm -hmm. like, good, but you haven't. So you do acknowledge what earth is hollow and I'm like, boy, do I? <laughs> like, <laughs> Like, I don't know. It just, what? Uh, uh, like, that's, that's, like what, what do you expect it to be? Like, it was just like, because like, there are multiple, even just saying, have you been vaccinated isn't actually covering like whether or not it's a, a staunch political anti-vax stance. Right. It could be like, I haven't had the opportunity yet. Or, or a medical reason. Or, or medical reasons. Yeah. So, like, there are many reasons why it couldn't be. Also, you could like not, you could be skeptical about, because like, I'll be honest, like I had my own fears about the vaccine beforehand, mm -hmm. but it, it's like, I, I think it's weird that people, when you get anti-vaxxers who are like, it's, it becomes suddenly their whole identity. Like if you look at, uh, you can bleep this out, but if, I don't oh, know if you've yeah, seen it, yeah. it, it's like, it's easy. I'm going to definitely bleep that out. Please but, do. Oh, please do. But like, <laughs> this is the first time you actually, I'm not slandering Paul right now. It's not so, yeah. It's not slander, but I just, there's no need to throw shade, but it's yeah, like, yeah, yeah. it's a thing where like, he, when you look at his Facebook, mm. it's like, are you a comedian or are you like, because there's like, there's no sign of being a comedian. It's anymore. Just, any, yeah. Anymore. It's just like every story is like, it's five stories every day about anti vax memes. And it's all dog whistling too. I thought even that sometimes, dude. It's no, no, no. But do and dog whistling in the sense that it's not immediately picked up by the Facebook guys because you have to be really in 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 the face for the Facebook dude. He posted one sensor squad to actually take. There was one down. that compared it to apartheid. Oh shit! I oh um wait what? Yeah. Oh cool. Um. I, I, I've, awesome. I've screenshotted several to show to Jack. Uh, oh, that's yeah, upsetting. It's a it's overt. Like it's so overt, and it's like it's like it's an identity all of a sudden. Especially for. Well, you need to probably bleep that out too. 
Oh shit! Right. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it's this thing where it's like it's just so overt where it's like it's yeah. your whole identity at this right. point. But like I, I don't I don't I don't get why it needs to be. You know, like it's just like it's cause I, it, cause because because a few people make a shit ton of money from it. Sure, but I mean for the people for the people who ha- who are making it their identity, I don't see why it needs to be because because oh, they're always right. coming from this idea of like a, I don't know why people like I was talking to another comedian mm. in our scene who. Uh, did get vaccinated but did not want to and uh she but was, got because it was necessary in her mind or we can talk about that later mind. just to i don't want to give too many details out because that's not sure. the most important part but the, the point is that the person got it and they were like oh it was so good to see this uh other person i met this other person who also was anti-vax and it was so refreshing because it seems like everybody i know is either vaccinated or about to get vaccinated and it you know and it's so good to be because like it to be with somebody who also is questioning it and not just you know just telling everybody they need to get vaccinated for no reason and i'm like but it's not no reason you know <laughs> It is a global like, pandemic. Like, pandemic. whether you agree with whether it's necessary or not, it's not no reason. And I think the big thing that people are overlooking is we look at it, it's either like anti-vaxxers will say, oh, if you're getting vaccinated, it's because you're a sheep. And it, people who aren't anti-vax are saying, you're dumb if you're not doing that. Mm-hmm. And I think that what people are overlooking is that both sides are taking their stance for the exact same reason, which is fear. We're yes. taking, we're getting vaccinated because we're scared of coronavirus mm-hmm. at some level, even if it's not a huge, whatever, but like the fear I mean, is on the, of, and the very fabric of, you know, modern society. Sure. But like, <laughs> but like coronavirus and the implications that it has exactly. on society, yeah. The, yeah. the fear stems back to coronavirus. Yeah. The va- anti-vax, it, the fear is of oh, the yeah. vaccine. Absolutely. So in both cases, it's like, I'm scared of something. So I'm making this decision based on that. Yeah. And it's this refusal to acknowledge it's like, oh, it's because you're an idiot. Oh, it's because you're a sheep. And it's like, no, we're both scared just of different things. The difference is. I could read the paper that is peer reviewed on the vaccines. Sure. But, 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 but then it comes down to do you believe that source? And that's where. Sure. But I'm not saying you're wrong. I'm just saying, like, dude, if you talk to flat earthers, yeah, yeah. You'll, no, bring in, I'm, I'm, you'll bring in I'm, math and they'll be like, well, where did you learn that? I'm, 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 sta- I'm, I'm, re- I'm a staunch follower of Occam's Razor, you know? Sure. And, and, and here it is clear, like, oh, if Russia. And the United States and China all agree on the same shit, basically. There's might, probably something to yeah, it. Yeah, exactly. If oh. if the biggest enemies, like if it wasn't real even, you know, like if it wasn't real, yeah, Russia would have, you know, widened their propaganda to a, a, to a different, like pivot to a different thing because they have like evidence sure. that they can present, but they never did. So well, Also, I think you can look at it like this is like, it's like, Whenever there's going to be a conspiracy, and it's like, well, who's going to, people going to make money off of it? Yeah. The question should then be, who would make the money off of it? And, and who has the incentive to do it? And how much, and how many people are involved in that scheme? Sure, but even if you just leave it as like yeah. the motivator. Right, you know, sure, sure, sure. Not, 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 whether or not, not whether or not it can hold up, yeah. you know, because if it's a, more people, more convoluted. But just like the motivator of money, mm. and you want to follow the dollar and, and right. uh, to figure it out. Okay, so China is the origin of this virus. Mm-hmm. So we're like, okay, maybe China's after us somehow if that's what sure. if, if that's what the conspiracy is sure so america makes a vaccine in response and you're like and that was the plan the whole time <laughs> and it's like <laughs> but, the, but like also but why china would, why china, would china have made a virus so that america could get rich off a vaccine also china biggest exporter of all the nations in the world wants to fuck with global pr- trade to a degree where they can't make money in certain fields anymore yeah, it's like, it's like, that it's seems sure. also very logical it could happen but like i, don't, I mean that's but a, i don't that's know why seppuku. but yeah, i don't know why that's more japanese thing than yeah, the chinese know. thing that was a little bit <laughs> racially insensitive no. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what i mean you know like yeah. you, you i don't know any other self-murder things yeah you're I like, only, what, what are they a lady boy like, <laughs> i only know japan does the whole ritual sure. self-murder thing sure which the is other why, ones which is why you probably themselves. shouldn't have brought it up huh <laughs> which is why you probably shouldn't have brought it up fair enough yeah <laughs> oh you want to do china um that's like um who? Who? Russian roulette in, 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 a, in a basement, but you have f- f- six bullets. <laughs> now that's now that's the Chinatown I know. <laughs> the house is always uh, stacking the odds against you, you know. Yeah. <laughs> no, but yeah, it's just one of those things where it's like, if money were the, the motivator, who mm. gets it? And it's yeah. like, and when it's conflicting people getting it, or multiple parties are going to get rich off of it. Yeah. But like that. Only if they all work together in a way where it's like, yeah, but there are so many other ways they could have made just as much money. Oh, yeah. For instance, 
doing what they were already doing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the system was already working in their favor yeah. to begin with. Yeah. So yeah, they're debunked. Uh, <laughs> or is it? We- <laughs> <laughs> All right, Reggie. Thank you so much again. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this was <laughs> we we faded out of the show and then we brought it back to life for for a second time. Um, I I I hope we we we're, we're gonna have you back at some point, maybe in the next two years. Yeah, hopefully you guys will. <laughs> Shh. Post production, Paul is hey, also Steve, here. Thanks for that. Uh, you, you keep it up. You're an awesome <laughs> cameraman, Jill. Oh, Peter. Good job, Peter. <laughs> Peter. <laughs> yeah. All right, man. Uh, yeah. Any any last words? <laughs> nah. Let's just fade out to black and sure awkwardly style Shidara. You, sure, you sure you want me to do some last words? My, go for it. I can do some last words. Oh, no. You're going to slander. <laughs> 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 and I guess dread. <laughs> Guessing by that laugh. Reggie only is that happy if he's about to slander somebody. <laughs> well, that's not fun anymore. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>